Hi. So, after I'd finished step two of this video, I was thinking about the ports that I'd configured for the camera server. And basically, I wasn't very happy about the fact that I've got this base port here, which used to be called GM, well, it's still called GMZ, which I've disabled. And then I've got this VLAN 50 here, which I've activated, which is sitting underneath it. And I just thought, well, why have I why have I done that? Why have I got the base port there and effectively got this extra one here? So what I just what I've decided to do, I, you know, I should have thought of it to start with. Um, I'm just going to move the camera network down onto the base port um, and define this one as untagged in the switch. So port 50 still comes down to this to this line from the switch. Um, but it's going to be untagged. And uh, it'll just be picked up here. I'll change the IP address, change the DHCP. And uh, then I don't have to have this extra VLAN defined. It'll just be sitting on the base one. So that's the plan. Get rid of that. So here's the camera interface. All up 192.168.50.1. So let's go here. What I'm going to do, go to the DHCP server for camera. And as this is probably going to disappear, I'm just going to take a copy of these. Because I don't want to lose them. So again, don't pad up. Save those in there. Right, let's see what happens with that. So I've done that. So let's go to the camera interface. I'm going to delete that one. Okay, that's gone. Now I'm going to go to the VLAN. Remove cameras there. Oops. That wasn't what I wanted to do. Delete camera. Okay. So I've no longer got any anything to assign there. So this GMZ one, we're going to go in and rename as cameras. IP address is going to be 192.168.50.1. Still a 24. Save. So I've done that, so let's go in there, go to the DHCP. Okay, this is still the other one. Activate that. The available range is showing that's good. And then two dot one six eight dot fifty dot sixty four. And then two dot one six eight dot dot one one. Everything default. Use the domain name. Move the NTP servers because we'll just take the defaults for that. Let's delete these. 
Yes, we want to delete it. Save that first. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. Reset it. 50.64, one eighteen dot one six eight dot fifty dot one oh one. And what is the ATP server? ATP's gone, okay, save. The specified range lies outside the current subnet. So, okay, I haven't activated the uh, network connection. changes remind you to sit here to update the uh, service settings okay so let's go services DHCP server camera enable one and two dot one six eight dot fifty dot sixty four Still doesn't like it. Okay, I think we've got some kind of a bug. Let's get on and do these first. Oh, maybe that's oh, maybe that's what was blocking it. Ah, could be the pre-allocated st static mappings were, could have been blocking it. Maybe let's try again. One, two, Let's just save. No, still doesn't like it. Okay, well, there it is. I don't know if the eagle eyed amongst you spotted it, but I've put. 192.158.50 not 192.168.50 so let's go back to the interface definition 68 save so the computer doesn't lie ACP. Let's try this again. Now it's got the right IP. One and two dot one six eight dot fifty dot sixty four. One and two dot one six eight dot fifty dot one nine one. the NTP servers and save well hey success okay let's add in these static addresses so I've got that one IP address 
address one and two dot one six eight dot fifty dot fifty one camera left left front camera save add another one Save and apply changes. Right, so let's go back to front page and we see. Okay, do I need to activate that camera? Enable interface. That's it. No. So where is it? Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Camera. One nine two one two eight fifty dot one. So they have now reassigned. that to be the base port so now i need to go into the firewall and reconfigure that vlan to be untagged on port Five, where we've got fifty is tagged. Yeah, port fifty. Change that to be untagged. And that's it. So, um, that's just restructured it to avoid having spare unused um, Ethernet. Uh, definitions so it's just a bit tidier I'll probably do the same with the VLAN 30 which is the LAN one when I've finished the configuration again because that's actually in use at the moment um, I can't change it until the end okay see you in the next one